here getting some hay bales for Jessica for her garden. So I'm gonna pick these up and we're gonna take them to the property. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. So exciting. So some finishing work is happening on the house. Yeah. So checking that out. And also while we were at co-op, Nathan got some hay bales for me to set up my hay bale garden. So I was hoping. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. We're going to have to be applying since we almost every day that we work outside. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of country living, child. Yeah. So. Oh, look at the berries. Did you see that? Oh yeah, look. There's blackberries. Not ready yet. Oh, there's one right there. Yep, right there. All right, point to the blackberries for me. There's See you? One right yep. here. Very nice. Mm. Kitty, huh? Try the blackberry. Mm. Like, you know, Tart. Tart. Get blackberries. Yep. Huh? You know what? There's some on the fence line over there. We can go look and see if those are ready. Okay. We can just set it. Kinley is dirty from the park after crawl. Uh, Harper, will you hold this, please, and set it on the ground? Just set it down for me, please. Thank you. Okay, so. We were hoping that we would already be living out here by garden season time and we're not, but I wanted to go ahead and get what I could set up. So obviously it'll mean, you know, going back and forth and all that, but really since they're doing the finishing work and all that's left is the electric trenching and hooking that up, I don't think it'll be too much longer. We don't have, I'm good, thank you. I don't want to um, I don't think it'll be too much longer. So all that to say, we decided to go ahead and get hay bales and set them up. So I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so we got the siding on this side of the house. I haven't been inside the house yet, but they're working on the other side. Okay, baby. I know. <laughs> no more holes. All right, so we have a wildflower seed mix that we're just gonna scatter around some of the areas where there isn't anything. Okay. Yeah, I didn't bring a shovel. You just have to use your hand, babe. It's hard for me to dig. Look, just some work happening in here. So exciting. They're you know, putting the marriage line together and fixing any walls. He said that they still have a few more hours of work to do. So, yep, they've been in here. I told them because electrical isn't hooked up yet. It'd be nice if it was so that you could work in some AC. <laughs> so, oh, get, we're getting there though. So exciting. I'm not going to have the kids in here because there's stuff everywhere. So I just wanted to peek real quick. But. So this is another, you know, marriage line. Getting all the stuff together. Here's the bathroom. Here's the other side. Mom, are we gonna really use this store more? So I, I think we might actually, I wasn't planning on it, but I do think it would work out well. So our original plan was to, you know, add a back door off the dining room, which we, we may still do. We weren't really planning on using that side door, but then uh, one of y'all actually gave me the idea of kind of creating it was something that one of y'all said. It just made me think of creating a mudroom porch off of there. And I was like, you know what? I think that would work out really well. So I think that's going to be like one of our first big things to do is to make that. So like the front porch is going to have to wait, but the side porch for us to enter and have like a area where we can stack shoes and boots and stuff would be a huge help. Um, so I think we will end up using that door. It's so funny, like you think things are gonna be one way. And one of y'all commented that, don't make any plans too hasty because you didn't word it like that. But you know, like wait until you're living there and see, and it's true, um, you know, things will change and evolve and all of that. So anyways, just to say, I just wanted to say thank you too for the ideas that y'all are giving us because it really is helping. Um, I'm actually nervous to be out here. I don't have my boots on. Nathan has the bucket of boots in the truck and we're waiting for him to get here with the second load of hay bales. So anyways, just wanted to say thank you for, thank you, baby. Um, the ideas and comments that y'all leave, because honestly, I don't know that I would have thought about that. And I think it'll work out quite well for, you know, 
something that could help us. So while we were at co-op, Nathan got 10 hay bales and he actually just got 10 more. So I'm excited. Are you excited, Reagan? It's just hot right now. So we set them up. He set them up over here while we were at co-op. And he's on his way, you know, with the other set. So this is the area where I want my garden. Um, first year, it's not going to be you know, exactly how we thought. We have to leave the spot. They're going to be trenching to that flag for the electrical right through where I'm standing. So this is literally the area where I want to put my garden. Um, yes, I do plan on having a big garden. So Nathan set them back because of, you know, we obviously need to leave room for the trenching. You know, I was just thinking maybe we could set them up there, but I don't want to be in the way of a truck or ditch witch or whatever they're going to be using to do the trenching. So maybe just having it set back this year is fine. Um, so, and he didn't want to put them close together right now either. So I think I'm just going to set them apart because of snakes and stuff. He was worried about snakes. I mean, they could burrow in those anyways, but that's our thought right now um, is we won't have them super close together. But now I'm kind of wondering if we should move them down there. <laughs> I've got my work team here, so it's okay. We can move all this. So, you know, eventually this will be the big garden area I want to have. You know, like an entrance to it. And then, you know, raised beds and stuff. Um, but this year we are definitely doing the hay bale garden. So I do have a video from last year where I set up a hay bale garden that I will link in the description box below in case any of y'all are interested in it. It is just a quick way to set up a vegetable garden um and that's just definitely what we are doing this year and then we will add a little each year to you know the big garden um yes baby yeah just be careful okay so waiting on the next load of hay bales and that's all that i'm going to do so last year i did 12 hay bales and this year we're going to do 20. and if y'all i know isn't that exciting Yep. Um, and if y'all remember, we got a good bit of harvest last year just out of 12 hay bales. So doing 20 is just going to be so exciting. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Hmm. Kids digging in the dirt. No, baby. There's too many nails on the floor. I know. Okay. Addie's not going in. Oh, maybe she is going inside. Woohoo! Hey, Bill. Oh, look at Nathan's getting really brave. <laughs> Driving out here. All right. You get so brave driving over here. Trying to dodge ant beds. Yeah. It's fine. We'll just do what we have to this year and. Well, why don't you get the stuff and. Okay. Here's this and your. Good job. Go, go Camden. Thank you for helping. Push it. He wants Peyton to do it with him. Yeah, Peyton, just pretend. Here. Can we help you? Help? Push it. Come on. Look. Let's go. So you're just going to do like mirror image?
starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to There's four, the difference is there's four up top here and three up top there. So we could move that, make it even. You wanna, what? Make it yeah, so move this one over here at the top. Unless there's ant beds there, I'll have to look. Okay, so we kind of have like a horseshoe shape here, obviously space in between. So you're putting your gardens all here? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were putting them in the back. Uh-uh. Um, that's where we're gonna have the goats, chickens, and pigs, right? Over there? Yeah, but they're gonna be mobile coops, I think, is what we're gonna end up doing. So, mobile really. Coops? coops. <laughs> yeah, <I have>. <laughs> <laughs> no, mobile coops, or mobile pens, not coops. Well, yeah, they're not gonna be free run. Free no. Running. Like, so that the goats can help us maintain the grass. We're gonna have it's this whole system thing. <laughs> okay, so. I think we need to move that one over here. Nathan is getting water from the well and Peyton. Okay, so I am putting fertilizer down on each hay bale and then we're gonna water them. <laughs> so we're literally loading buckets of water to do this, but before long, we'll have a hose out here, right? <laughs> I guess if we were really thinking, we probably should have brought a hose. We weren't thinking. <laughs> I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. You helping me with the garden? I don't fit to your box. Beauty queens with no gloves. Yeah. You can do better. Yeah. I dare you to be wonder. I don't fit to your box. Beauty queens with no gloves. Yeah, that's what I You can do better. If I want, let yourself be free and make We're almost done watering them all in. <laughs> Lug and water is no small chore, <laughs> but it's exciting. <laughs> I told the kids and Nathan, I was like, they're going to remember. Do you remember right before we moved to the house? Mom had us set up the hay bale garden and we were lugging buckets of water to water it. <laughs> yes. But it will be worth it once the garden's growing and we're living here to already have this in. We have such a short time before the heat gets to us. Honestly, this is getting in late. Like we should have had this in in March, but we were hoping, you know, that we would be moving in here uh, by the end of March. But since it's not that, um, we just have a short season before it gets way too hot for plants to, you know, start growing. So um, if for whatever reason it is going to be too hot, which it would stink, but my thought was, and we'll be we'll be ahead of the game for the fall garden because <laughs> we can grow everything again basically in September for a fall garden. So, you want to say hi? Hi. Yep. What are we doing? We in the um the hay bale. Yeah. Is it so fun? You're a good helper. Thank you for helping. I love you. These cows are literally right over here. <laughs> They're eyeballing my hay bales, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> look at them. They're like, look at all that hay. All right, y'all stay on y'all's side, okay? This is for my garden. <laughs> it's so funny. I just put out a feast for the cows. <laughs> we did well, well. <laughs> Talk about 
This is a well. They want like a Snow White well. Yeah. Snow White well. Yeah. I'm wishing. I'm wishing. I'm wishing. Right there. Yeah. Snow White. Snow White. I have a snow white. I just build one that looks like it and just pipe a water through it so it has water. Yes. And I want the old-fashioned hand trough. No, it's not called a hand trough. What's it called? A pump. Is that what it's called? Water pump. Water spigot. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I don't have it. I think they come here. They don't have pipe that goes down and connects to whatever there. But they'll always have a spigot here. So I have to dig up. Yeah. I thought you were done. I thought you were done a lot. We're gonna go back to the first view that we did since we did all our tackle. Kitty, kitty. No, that's not good. That was not right. We're home. It's been a long day. Go walk. I mean, we leave here like roughly, we left a little late today. I think it was closer to 8.45. It's now 5.35, but it was a very good day. Obviously, I'm excited about the hay bales and getting to see the progress on the house and all of that. And let's just say mud boots and a van do not mix. <laughs> so we've cleaned out the van. Uh, now on to dinner which is going to be a total fun for yourself tonight. I don't even know what we have because I was gone all weekend on my weekend getaway. <laughs> I got home yesterday, I guess it was about three and we did tacos for dinner. I'm pretty sure that we have leftovers for that. But um, anyways, very good day, very long day. But I'm so excited how close we are getting to the property. Yes, I can help you. I'm getting there. A little bit at a time. I got to dress the baby doll. So I'm going to end this here because, you know, I got to figure out dinner and I got to dress this baby. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video.